Here's my ion lifter I built. A lot of people are using DC flybacks. I decided to use an AC flyback I bought off of eBay because you can't use a high voltage multiplier with DC current. So this is a eight stage multiplier. I might make it up to 10 stages. And the transistor running it, I got that from Micro Center. That is a TIP 102 transistor. Now the interesting thing about this lifter, unlike other lifters I've seen on the videos, is it will continue to run without getting power. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is the wire coming from the coil. This is the wire going to the transistor. You can see them. The white wire, the green wire, right? Now check this out what's up white wire green look it's hovering but there's no power this is the power from the coil not even running don't need that my body is actually conducting enough current to trip the transistor the base of the transistor you see you can see there's no wires. This is putting out about 63,000 volts. I could probably get a little bit more. And because I'm conducting the power, you actually can still hear the electricity inside of this capacitor. So watch this. Off, on. So, I'm actually powering the transistor. Current is still going from the battery. Here's the positive, there's the negative. Negative goes to the emitter. The coil goes to the collector. But here's the thing, if it does catch a spark off of the wire, it will turn off. So as long as I can keep the wire on the top little from a distance away this will just stay there I actually you can actually see the corona right there now see again it did it now check this out if I just turn it back on it's on but if I connect these two you can you can see that corona ozone because the wire is kind of close to it but it's a lot quieter I'm just touching this wire. That's it. Now, I don't know how the electricity in my body is conducting just enough to trigger the transistor when the feedback coil is what gives self-oscillation. So basically, current is just going from the battery to through the collecting emitter back you know so I don't even know how is my body actually able to conduct yesterday when I was doing this experiment a light if I was making my finger a lighter touch I could actually vary the voltage going into the base see it shoots up so if I just make a very light touch Not easy, but well, look, it's still holding a charge. Let go. Yeah, yesterday when I was doing this, I only had two wires tethering it. Today I decided to do four wires, but yep, I had two wires tethering it, and it was it was hovering pretty well. One thing I did find out and I realized is that the wires do have a little bit of vibration. When I had two wires, when I had two wires tethered to it, one of the wires is actually vibrating, which is causing noise and actually some oscillation in it. So I already know I may just have to just wrap a wire around it and glue it and make it stationary once I get the height so it won't be adjustable. 
It won't be adjustable. It won't be adjustable. And this way, the wires will be perfectly straight and they will not vibrate and it shouldn't be able to maybe be able to hover perfectly without any tethers because only I had two tethers yesterday so I'm trying to go for no tethers and also redesign it I want to design a Townsend Brown one if anybody got any ideas how to make that couple of more like a salad bowl I'm not going to use aluminum tape I'm going to use a very thin aluminum like from the pans because it's really thin and I can actually probably uh, tap that over a bowl and actually form the shape well, there it is just floating and that's it here's the wire nothing going look you can actually see the wire dangling down right there not even connected so just get a uh, an old AC flyback bought this off of eBay ten dollars uh, center tap six turns or seven turns I did and in case anybody is interested, this is what flyback I bought off of eBay. $9. The seller was really fast on shipping it. And what I really liked about this was it actually came with... The old yeah, that popped instructions manual for it. Look at that, and it even says rated at eighteen thousand volts. Look at that. Uh, pin number five is the output of this. So what I did was I just soldered a wire on the back to the pin. That was it. I guess it. This thing runs. And since you can see that at sixty thousand volts and its arcs are jumping when I put full power because this is actually putting the full power since my body's conducting just a little bit this is actually actually putting more power into the transistor which is putting more power to conduct for this that's why it's arcing like that look at that and that's 60,000 volts that means I'm getting more than 60,000 volts that means I'm going to have to extend the wire up even more to see how high I, got, I can go with this look at that Look at that. And look at this. If I squeeze the alligator clip, just squeezing it, it wants to move up. So if anybody got any ideas or anything to add to this, let me know. Alright, later.